I just got back from the Philippines and I am currently in the process of unpacking everything. It has been such a process. Everything I have in my carry-on, I just put it in a laundry basket. I'm gonna bring it upstairs, but first I'm gonna have some breakfast because I'm so hungry. I'm still getting adjusted back to the time here. And so I've just been waking up super early these days. Like I normally am not up at like 7 a.m. And back when I was in the Philippines, I would always just wake up at like nine. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a quick little breakfast and have some coffee. Being back after staying in the Philippines is honestly so weird. I spent so much time there surrounded by family that I honestly feel like I have to readjust to life back in Canada. It's a lot more quiet here, there's more time to be alone, and I'm not out every day with family. Not to mention it's also winter, so it's super cold again. It's honestly kind of bittersweet to be back. I'm really happy because I also do have my family and friends that are here, but at the same time, I also definitely miss my family back in the Philippines. <laughs> it just goes to show how much I really enjoyed my time there and hopefully maybe one day I'll be able to go back again my aunt and uncle before he left gave us these really really yummy buns i don't really know what they're actually called but they're like tiny little bread buns like little dinner rolls it's not it's not like the classic filipino pandesal which is like another type of bread roll there but it's really good it's like some sort of like dinner roll I'm gonna be using this really cute mug that my uncle got me. It's this little doggy. It's so cute. I got it for Christmas and it has this little like lid on it. I have the weirdest like morning egg flavor combo. It's literally egg, sriracha, and everything but the bagel seasoning. All right, so here's my little breakfast for today. It's just eggs and two bread rolls and of course my coffee. I also have this, we brought this back from the Philippines. It's the herb cream cheese spread from Panda Manila. This is like literally one of my favorite ever like spreads. It's so small. <laughs> Mm. I don't think I ever showed you guys, but I actually got my nails done like super last minute before I left and they're so cute. Excuse the fact that my hands are dry right now, but they're so cute. I got like a glitter ombre and then on this one finger, there's just this like little rose. It's so cute. So I got most of my clothes put away, but I still have a ton of like stuff that I have to put away too. Like you can see there's some here and then my desk is an absolute mess. I did get a ton of new stuff while I was in the Philippines. Like most of the places that we went to were just malls. So I would just buy something like every single time. I got a bunch of like stuff for my room. So I'll show you guys all of that. And then I'll just show you the little like random things that I got. Muji was actually the number one store that I wanted to go to in the Philippines because the only Muji stores that we have here in Canada is like in Vancouver and in Toronto and I don't live there so I don't have a Muji where I am. So the first thing that I got were these pillowcases. I really wanted gray pillowcases and I got these really soft ones for Muji so I'm gonna wash these today and then put them on my bed. I also got some little room slippers. They're in the color dark gray. I did get more stuff and I just, I would like for you to take a guess of what is inside all of these. If you are a Gen Z and you watch like any university student influencer, you would probably know the hype over the Muji pen. So I literally went to Muji twice to get pens. This whole entire paper bag is pens. Yeah, I went off and I bought a ton of these 0.5 pens in like different colors. Got it in black, dark blue, and red. I also got this teeny little pencil sharpener. It's so cute. And then I went back a second time and I bought 2.7 black pens and then I got mechanical pencils, which now that I think about it, I don't know why I got the pencil sharpener because I have mechanical pencils now, but 
that's fine <laughs> and then i went to daiso the only thing i really got for my room is this like stand my plan is to display my becune bambi album here the only problem is during transport like because i had this in my checked bag kind of got smushed it like got cracked here and here so i'm gonna have to like super glue this together i didn't really get any other like room decor stuff there um i just got a bunch of beauty products like this cleaner for makeup brushes and then i also just got like hair cutting scissors <laughs> And then I also got some random like little decor pieces for my room. So I have this Sugar Funko Pop, which I'm so excited about. I actually got this as a gift from my aunt and uncle, which I'm really, really grateful for. The last little like thing I got for my room is actually this humidifier, which I already took out of the box because I used it last night. This was also a gift to me from my uncle. And then there's actually a light options so you can have like a changing led light for it i set this here on my dresser because i thought it was a really nice spot but yeah i'll just show you guys the last few things that i also got in the philippines they're mostly just like stationary and like beauty product stuff so i got some bobby pins i got these little like brow shaver thingies my aunt gifted me some makeup so this is like lip products oh wait no it's not Oh, I thought it was like lip gloss. Now that I'm reading the tag, it's not. So this is from the brand BLK Cosmetics. This is actually a color adapting lip and cheek oil. Oh, I literally thought it was like a clear gloss, but this is a lip and cheek oil, I guess. And then this one is a liquid eyeshadow. It's like this shimmery, coppery color. I literally thought it was just like lip gloss, but it's not, it's so cute. I saw these two cute little like notebooks. So I got it obviously because of the design. It's really easy for me to just buy stuff based on like design. Like if it's cute, I will, I will fall for it. I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. There's just a bunch of different like, cute pages so it's all just like it's kind of like a planner but it's also like a diary like it literally says diary right here so i got it because it just has a bunch of like cute different like pages like look at this like look at this that's so cute <laughs> try this what is this again this is the blk fresh color adapting lip and cheek oil oh oh my gosh that's so cute ah it's like a gloss oh my gosh wait wait that's so cute the liquid is like kind of clear i don't know if you guys can tell Oh, okay. Wait, pause. Oh my god, that's that's a lot. Wait, 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 pause. You have to like blend it out. Maybe you don't need to use a lot. Okay, wait. So after blending it out, it actually looks kind of cute. It's like really subtle. Lesson learned though. Only put a little bit. I took some photos with my cousins at this photo booth at an event that we went to. So I'm gonna put them up on my wall because they're so cute. Here's one that we took. And I also have this one with my cousin too. It's so cute. On our way back to Canada from the Philippines, we had a layover in Taiwan and in the Taipei airport, by chance, there ended up being a Sanrio store right next to our gate. Like the whole time I was in the Philippines, I was looking for Sanrio stuff, like official Sanrio merch or like a Sanrio store and I couldn't find anything. So I feel like it was just like a sign. I went there and I ended up picking up something. I probably should have bought more. I kind of regret not buying everything that I saw. I picked up this cute little Karomi plushie. 
and it's actually a keychain. It's one of the like Chromify the World keychains. The key ring that it comes with is like in the shape of a little heart. It's so cute. I also picked up like an ID card holder at the National Bookstore. It's literally just like a plastic cover so that I can put my Mingyu photo card in it. It's literally just like a plastic cover. My plan is to put this like on my little bag that I wear out all the time. It's kind of dirty, so I have to clean it, but that's what it looks like. I just have my photo card here in my Karomi right there. So like when I hold it, it's like this. Cute. Cute. 